Hey. Morning. I'm in the Philippines staying with my dad. So this is where I've been staying and sleeping. So it's kind of like a little house bedroom. Notice there's no air conditioning, no windows. It's basically just kind of screens. So it's a tropical country. And so the weather's like perfect all the time. So you don't even need air conditioning. You just have a fan and yeah, that's it. And uh, basically bed pillow, blanket, and you're good to go. And you get to hear all of the nature going on outside. It's kind of, kind of wake up early because there's like chickens and geckos making noise at like 6 a.m. But you just kind of get used to it. Morning, girls. Good morning. Where's my? It's almost ready. That's almost ready. Breakfast isn't ready yet. Huh? I have to wait on my breakfast. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Right after I wake up, first thing I always eat breakfast. I always want to get food back going in my body, like after being asleep all night. So you're fasting. So always have breakfast first thing in the morning. It's just the best way that I like to start my day. And uh, what are we having? This is pretty typical, it's actually what I eat all the time. Basically, it's gonna be whole eggs, egg whites, then some meat, a little bit of veggies, which I don't normally eat, but here I can get like fresh asparagus, so I'm eating it. And then I'm obviously gonna have a ton of fruit. So I think this is like three whole eggs and probably like maybe four or five egg whites, plus some pork, which I don't normally eat again, but again, you're in the Philippines, so you kind of have to eat what you have access to not a lot of red meat here so i do or i have been consuming a lot of pork and chicken also what i'm doing i'll drink a cup of coffee and then i'll drink a bunch of water and i'll take some oral rehydration salts these are just electrolytes because here it's super humid it's like the humidity is like man it's crazy how much how humid it is, so I sweat a ton. So I've just been taking electrolyte salts basically the entire time I'm here just to make sure I'm staying hydrated. I don't like cramp up, especially when I'm training. So I'm gonna get this breakfast down and then we'll start my, my first little workout of the day, which is something easy, but I always start my day with breakfast and then a quick little workout. So it's actually a really big piece of property, but yeah, my dad, He's retired and so he decided to make an asparagus farm in the Philippines as random as that is but he really likes it out here and I come out and visit him every two or three years and uh, yeah it's different different kind of different kind of living but uh it's good he likes it and uh, everything's a bit more challenging here but at the same time it's still really neat you know, it's just like kind of like living out in the country per se. But yeah, actually, if you take a look, this is a this is a pretty good view right here. So I just finished eating, and now I'm doing my first workout of the day. I call it a workout. I'm pushing a truck backwards right now. And so this is actually rehabilitation for my knees. People may have seen me like pulling a sled backwards or pushing cars backwards. I don't just do that for random reasons. I know it looks funny, but this is actually incredible for strengthening your knees and your tendons. So I've had like 11 knee surgeries, so I could care less what people think about what I'm doing or what I look like I'm doing. I'm strengthening my knees through just continuous concentric contractions. So actually see my knees right now, John. So you see that right there? You're just getting continuous concentric contractions. And what this does is gets a lot of blood flow into your knees and it feels really good. So I have chronic knee pain all the time, but I've noticed when I actually pull the sled backwards or push a truck backwards like this makes my knees feel better and this is something really everyone should do and honestly it's one of the most amazing ways to warm up just to get warmed up for a workout or anything like that I have a lot of my clients do it just continuous reverse sled drags or because I'm in the Philippines right now I don't have a sled 
I'm having my dad sit in his little multi-cap truck and I'm pushing it backwards. And it's actually amazing. It's not easy. As you notice, I'm kind of breathing hard. My heart rate's up. I'm sweating. It's outside, it's humid. But it's a great way to start your day. So I just go for 15 minutes straight between pushing a truck backwards and actually pushing it forwards normally. But this is all just rehabilitation for my knees, my ankles. I broke my ankle seven months ago. So pushing like this, it's actually incredible for your hamstrings, ankles, and also strengthening your feet. All right, it's extremely, extremely underrated. It's super important to do. More people should do it. But yeah, you're just doing the most basic work, man. I'm pushing a truck right now. I'm doing this more for rehabilitation and not so much as a workout, but believe me, if you do it for like 15, 20 minutes straight, it feels like a workout. Another great thing about the Philippines, you can pretty much take a piss anywhere. You don't have to worry about getting in trouble. Am I the only one that thinks it's funny that I'm 34 years old and my dad still takes me to work out? Now, headed to do my second workout of the day. Uh, and I'm gonna go work out with a tree. What? What the fuck? Just heading to do my second workout of the day right now. I'm riding in the back of a truck because this is the Philippines and you can do that. A few moments later. <laughs> this is a good tree to work out with. I searched around, I couldn't find any good trees with like the proper branch, but I found this one luckily. It's pretty high, but I'm standing, if you can see, I'm standing on a park bench on top of a box. All right, so it'll be, it'll work. I'm in Valencia, which is like kind of like a suburb of Dumaguete City on the island of Negros Oriental. There's no gym in Valencia at all, no gym. And so this is where I am. And so I'm gonna make this tree my gym for the day. And I'm just gonna do a workout with gymnastic rings. Literally one of the best pieces of equipment, gym equipment you can get. You can do so many different things with just a set of gymnastic rings. All right, you're doing a ring complex. You're going five strict muscle ups into five strict dips into five strict pull ups into five strict toes to ring. All right, this is round three right here. Oh, so that's 20 reps. I'm broken on a ring, on a fucking tree. Not my best muscle ups, but considering on the circumstance, I'm pretty happy with that. You guys speak English? Yeah? Have you ever heard of the internet? Yeah. Yeah? You know YouTube? Yeah. All right, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. Yeah, that's a YouTube channel. Will you subscribe to my YouTube channel? Yes. Yeah? Okay. What's your YouTube channel? Tainer Shuck. Tainer Shuck? Tainer, yeah, Tainer. Tainer Shuck. Go over, subscribe. Or subscribe, please. I need more subscribers, man. Tell your buddy to subscribe, too. <laughs> Alright, so I just finished the main component of my upper body workout with the muscle up complex. So the muscle ups, dips, pull ups, and toes of ring. Now, I'm doing a bit of isolation work. I'm in a park. I just found basic ass bricks. These are probably about two and a half kilos each. So it's about like 10, 12 pounds in each hand. And I'm literally just hitting some lateral raises. 
my upper body finisher is just gonna be basically three rounds of max effort, unbroken lateral raises with these bricks. All right. Then I drop down, take the bricks, drop them down on the ground, and I'll just hit perfect deficit strict push-ups all the way right there. Just finished my workout on the way home now. I'm having my post-workout carbs. This is called Suman. From my understanding, it's just white rice, coconut milk, and sugar. So it's actually a pretty good post-workout food. Just getting carbs back in my body. And uh, then I'll get home and I'll eat probably like two whole chickens. Nah. Just got home. Hey, Dad. Dad, you better be careful. My dad's fucking deaf. Dad, you want to say hi? Hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Do you eat all the chicken? No. There's some limpo in there. Do you eat all the limpo? No. You don't need it all. Do you eat all the suman? Not all of it. Thanks yeah. for taking me to work out. Can't, I can't wait till you leave. <laughs> <laughs> you said you can't wait till I get here. Not really the typical vacation you would actually think of when someone says, oh, I'm gonna go out to the Philippines for a vacation. I'm just here hanging out with my dad and fucking out. And it's kind of cool because I actually started my CrossFit journey here in Dumaguete 10 years ago in 2012. That's what got me outside of America, which is honestly the best thing that ever happened to me is I left America, saw, saw there's a huge world out there got into CrossFit and CrossFit just brought me to Dubai where I'm currently at and I f can't believe it like I'm so fortunate I work for myself I'm a trainer and thankfully I'm able to do well enough to where I can take a vacation and film it put it out on YouTube and people I think will probably actually watch this at least I hope they do and I'm kind of early on in my YouTubing stage but I guarantee I'm gonna work my ass off on this and it'll grow over time, so pretty cool. I'm in a good stage of my life and I'm excited to continue to work at it and be better and just show you guys how to train, eat, and be the best version of yourself and I'm gonna let you guys follow along. Yeah, so that's a typical day for me here in the Philippines. Basically, wake up, eat, train, rest, eat, train again, and now I'm gonna rest. Not every day is like this, and I'll actually rest a lot completely tomorrow. But yeah, typical day in the Philippines. Thanks for following along.